In this video, we're gonna look at how to profit from market crash. Stay tuned. Hey traders of Ray One, welcome to you. Okay, so market crashes or down moves or aggressive bear markets can pre present very lucrative trading opportunities for the short-term trader. Now, of course, at the end of the bear market, you have opportunities to buy, but how do we make money during those aggressive down moves? Well, the obvious first one is to short futures, CFDs, or spread bet. Now, you could go directly to the horse's mouth, so to speak, and you could short the Dow, you could short the S&P 500, you could short the NASDAQ, you could go Germany, you could short the DAX, you could go to UK and you could short the FTSE, you could go to the CAC with the, with the France, go to France, should I say, and short the CAC. You can go with the broad, indices or you pick the shares that are vulnerable and you pick the shares that are really really kind of story based don't have any fundamental growth and are literally the ones that are going to be last in first out for the hedge funds you pick the shares that are already getting battered and they're actually continuous get even hit even harder so shares that were kind of not really participating in the bull market maybe range bound maybe even falling they are going to get even hit even harder in the bear market so you go for the most vulnerable shares and you short those or you keep it broad and you do you short futures contracts which you know you can do got to be careful with the leverage in that got to be careful of the position size you know even kind of some of the smaller ones like the dow mini that's going to add up a lot if it bounces against you multiple days against you there's quite a lot of movement for most people's pockets so it's better and especially the dax so that's got to be careful of that cfds is a kind of good way of doing it obviously if in the uk spread betting is a very useful way of doing it for the tax advantages for most people with that just a sell bet to the downside you can do a very small position size and you can make money as the market starts to roll to the downside same with the cfd slightly different structure i've done a video about the difference between cfds and spread bet but ultimately you can have a relatively small position and profit and benefit from that falling market or from that crashing market Okay, if that doesn't take your fancy, another way you can profit from a market crash and is the things that are kind of gonna really give you the jackpot money, uh, but there's a lot of risk in some of these ones. You've got inverse ETFs. Now, I've done a video before talking about ETFs, but ultimately a quick lesson is an ETF will track the performance of an underlying. So if we had an ETF that tracked the performance of the FTSE 100, it would track the performance of the FTSE 100 during that day, then the next day, then the next day, the next day. Sometimes it's the sectors, sometimes Sometimes it's commodities, whatever it may be. We also have inverse ETFs, which inversely track the performance. So FTSE is up 1% on the day, the ETF will be down 1%. But what that does mean is if the FTSE is down 1% in the day, that ETF will be up 1% in the day. So we can buy this inverse ETF, which means it will go up as the underlying market it's mirroring goes down. We can go one step further than that and we can buy double and triple leverage ETFs, which aim to replicate the underlying asset two or three times and inverse. So FTSE is going down 1%. This triple leverage will be up 3% on the day, or it'll be up 2% on the day if it's a double leverage ETF. So you can see how we can seriously make some profit from those. If you had a 10% down move, you would get a, you know, a massive up move in, this, in these, um, triple leverage ETFs, of course, it also goes against you. So if it happens to have a rally that day, you're gonna take a hit to the other, other side. And there's other things to be aware of with holding those longer term, but this is just some ideas that you can perhaps dig into and approach. So what have we got here? In the US, if we wanna fade the US moves, we've got um, SH, which is S&P 500 inverse ETF, just a single, eating, single leverage ETF. The double is SDS and the triple is SPXU. So the triple is kind of the biggest bang for your buck. If the S&P 500 dropped 5% in a day, that thing would rocket 15%. So if you bought that, that's how much you make on that one. If we rotate it over to the UK, we've got UK 3S, the triple leverage inverse ETF. SUK2 is the double lever inverse leverage ETF tracking the FTSE 100 and XUKS is just the inverse. So, you know, understand how you've got to be cautious 
using these triple leverage, holding them over time. But if you're looking for that intraday boost from a market crash at Eve, you've kind of identified it's going to crash in the next couple of days, you want to, or you think it is, you want to really maximize your opportunity, then these triple leverage or double leverage are the way to go. Okay, another way you can do it, just a quick one, guys, is you can, we've talked about this one before, is you can go to volatility products like the VXX or like VIX futures contracts or spread betting. Uh, some spread betting companies will allow you to spread bet the VIX. That's the volatility component of options. In other words, when everyone's piling for insurance and buying put options, we haven't covered put options here, but we could also buy put options uh, in any of the major markets or any of the stocks. In other words, profiting from a down move, a quick aggressive down move. However, they start to get highly priced. And this is when the VIX goes up, it's the volatility component. As everyone dies for that insurance, this goes up. So if you're long this kind of stuff, and there's some, there's some um, other ETFs as well that are triple leverage of these, but generally if you're long volatility during a market crash, you're gonna profit. So long volatility positions will do very, very well. Short positions in the futures market are obviously gonna do very, very well. Long on the inverse ETFs, especially if you're going with these triple and doubles, but being very cautious Obviously, there's inherently a lot of risk in this kind of stuff. I'm not going through risk, but as long as you keep them risk managed, these are different vehicles that you can use and ways you can profit from a market crash. All right, guys, see you next one. Take care, keep the risk managed, whatever you're doing. Bye-bye.